as a matter of fact, uh, it is assuming a role which is quite, quite similar. Both are getting involved in supervision more actively, both micro prudential supervision and the macro prudential. Both are playing a role as a uh, con con contributing to financial stability. And on top of it, you have the main role of both institutions, which is preserving price stability. So in a sense, I think the functions are very similar. I don't think Europe or the Eurozone has a problem with too much integration. If anything, it is too little. The Eurozone created a single currency, but almost no governance. And now we find uh, where the fault lines are. So the solution going forward uh, in order to stabilize the Euro is to integrate more uh, in the economic domain in the fiscal domain, we have heard about the banking union, and it is a high time that we build that. And of course, this means also uh, fiscal and political integration. As a matter of fact, the, the ECB at this moment, uh, in the uh, uh, operational domain, uh, is not printing money because, as you know, all the uh, purchase programs are being sterilized, meaning that one euro that goes out when the bank buys government paper is sterilized on a weekly basis. So this shows that it is not by printing money that the ECB is helping to stabilize the banking sector. There are many other tools because the toolbox of the ECB is quite rich and when time comes, if it comes, we will see uh, more. Now indeed austerity is not the only solution but it's part of the solution because we have excessive debt as an economy and this means that you have uh, a way to reduce this debt. You have to bring growth back, and this means a structural reform in labor markets, product markets, uh, fostering innovation, exporting more. And there we see light at the end of the tunnel, because uh, the standard sector is behaving very well. What a bailout would mean, if it is requested, uh, uh, is that governments and the private sector could continue accessing the market in order to refinance uh, maturities. And this is key at this moment because one difference among others uh, between Spain and all the other peripherals that are now under programs is that Spain has a multinational franchise. They are in the markets and they continue, should continue to be in the markets. So the, 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 the bailout, if it is requested, should contribute uh, to uh, that presence in the markets to, to remain.